Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be giving you my thoughts on this new concealer from Cover FX, and it is called PowerPlay. Sounds sexual, but it's not, it's a concealer. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the really, really good points and one slightly negative. Um, so I've got it on here and you'll see the tutorial coming up. Coverage is beautiful. Now, Cover FX claim that it will do everything and wash your dishes and give you a kiss on the cheek before bed. It does everything, it's vegan, it's clean, it's full coverage, it won't crease, and it irons your sheets. It is truly amazing, according to them. And I can testify, it is a great, great concealer used as a concealer or a foundation. You also get 10 mils of product, which is phenomenal. Considering that a lot of companies are still producing concealers with two, three, four mils max. Four mils is a lot for some companies. Charlotte Tilbury just released an amazing concealer that only had four mils of product. This has got 10, Too Faced has got 15. Even NARS, which is years and years old now, has got like six or seven mils. Come on, companies. People are using concealer for contouring and highlighting and as foundations, we need more product. It's amazing. However, there's one thing that isn't that great. I'm just gonna turn the ISO to a different um, setting so you can see. Okay, so here we are, ISO changed. And what's really good is you get this really big opening and the wand is really big and who doesn't love a big wand? Now, the only problem is, is you can see here, there's overspill. As you put this in and out and in and out, it's not a euphemism you're getting overspill. It is a slight problem with the design, but otherwise a bloody good concealer. See you with the tutorial. Okay, so as with most things, as I mentioned, we'll be using this as a foundation and a concealer. So I'm gonna just do some dots and we'll see where this takes us. I don't even know if this is my shade. What shade is it? It is P medium two. Hmm. So we're gonna take a foundation brush, mine, rude, and we're gonna blend this in. Now this foundation, now I've got quite a lot of magic cream on before this, but this foundation, you uh, this concealer, I'm so sorry, you can feel it's drying really quickly. It's a quick drying concealer, absolutely. But it does give a really nice finish. This is a nice, finish. It's a kindly finish. Okay, do you know, don't forget my red chin and my pink ears. Oh, forever pink. Do you know, ages and ages ago, somebody said to me, those pink ears, they're very dangerous. And I was like, thanks. Thanks for that. What kind thing to say. Okay. So that's one coat, and that wasn't a particularly heavy application or anything like that, but it was enough to cover. That's a, excuse the hair, I just got out of the shower. Um, that's a pretty good coverage. It's actually a little bit dark for my skin compared to my neck, but that's okay. So we're gonna use a slightly lighter shade. Let's go for medium, P medium one, and this is too light and we'll apply a couple of dots on the inner corner and we'll just apply a little tiny touch here and here. And we'll blend this in with the brush. So we're going for this brightening in the inner section again. And I'm bringing that onto the eyelid because there's way too much product here. And now I'm just gonna kind of stipple um, this bit here. So let's powder the face and see where we are. Okay, so we've got a little bit of um, face color on and we've darkened the lashes and that's pretty much it. Overall, this is an amazing, amazing concealer and I mentioned some of the points at the beginning of this. The, the result, especially when using it as a foundation, is pretty marvelous. The, the, the coverage is beautiful and it doesn't look heavy or thick or cakey in real life, which is always, always a bonus, I think. It's a great foundation and 10 mils, that's spot on. It's just great, great 
amount of product, which is wonderful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.